All right, Coach, uh, you know, season starts at the end of next month. Just uh, can you tell us what's exciting about this year's group? What's different about this year's team? Yeah, no, they're fun. You know, this is a group that just goes to work. Um, you know, we were, we were commenting like, oh, the summer is almost over. A lot of these guys never left. You know, they, they stayed, they trained. Um, so the, the break got really short just because these guys were hungry to get back at it. And that's exciting to see because it's not something I prompted. It's not something our coaches told them. It came internally from the seniors and the upperclassmen. And so that's it's always a positive sign to see. You guys start the year with a week zero game on the road, Midwestern stages. How does that in your schedule help you with that bye week later on now too? Sure. Well, I, I think it's all navigating the, the newness. You know, we're, we got a tough opponent down there uh, in week zero. And, and so we got to make sure we're ready for that game. But, you know, using that bye week to rest up and, and make sure we finish the season strong. You've got right now, I mean, that's, as you said, that's a tough opponent to, to open up the year up against. But you guys are coming in strong. I mean, you, you, you bring in 15, you do lose 13, but you bring in 15. And yeah. I want to talk a little bit about your recruiting class, specifically this year, because I feel like I don't know how many on an exact number you guys have aimed for this season. I know you had 44 for certain on national signing day. Yeah. But how many have you had after that, and how will those numbers, obviously, with this year being so different, impact you guys moving forward in 2024? Sure. I think the, the final count probably ended up closer to 50. Um, and, 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 you know, in, in terms of who's going to play right away, you know, it's hard to say. I, I would have to say that this is probably one of the most, ta most talented groups we've recruited. And so with that, a lot of those guys are going to vie for playing time right away. And, and that's exciting because – it adds immediate depth. It adds uh, immediate competition at a lot of positions. Um, and so that it's exciting to see those guys uh, run around and, and get ready to play. You guys dipped your hand pretty much everywhere. You were in Missouri, you were in Kansas, you were in yeah. Oklahoma. I mean, you were all over the country. And, um, and, and not to say that it's been too different than in years past, but there's a lot of excitement right now with regards to the Lions and what they can do. Sure. So for you as a coach, you have all these older guys, and you're seeing them kind of, I talk about it with a keen ushering in this new group of kids who are excited to be here. What does that mean seeing your older guys kind of really buy into the program and you kind of coaching up the younger ones and starting this new culture? Well, it, it's refreshing. You know, the things that we focused on early in my career here are the things that the seniors are now leading with, um, which allows us to focus more on the X's and O's and focus more on the player development rather than focusing on, hey, what sock do you have on or what pair of shorts do you have on? You know, we're, we're able to finally graduate to, to level two um, and some upper level courses in, in football, which hopefully will pay dividends and wins. You've been really credited with kickstarting this new era of this program, and it's taken a couple of years to really start moving everything into a hugely positive direction. But a lot of them are saying that they feel like this is the year, this is the year that everyone really gets over the hump. When you hear them saying that, you hear them crediting you for their work to this point. How does that make you feel? Well, we're, it, it, I'm a team. I'm a team first guy, so they can give me all the credit. Um, but it, it's on those guys. You know, a lot of the work that's done in the summer. Coaches aren't allowed to be at, so it's Akeem Gilmore that's pushing them. It's Zach Bergman, it's Jordan Henderson, it, it, it's Kenny Furman. Those guys are the ones that are organizing practice. Those are the ones saying, Coach, we make sure the lights are on at this time. Those are the ones that are saying, Hey, Coach, we need more footballs. Those guys are driving our program, um, and, and so incredibly proud of the work that they've done uh, in the four years that I've been here, uh, and just really the foundation that they've set for the years after. That win last year against Mo West in Week 11. Yeah. I mean, Everybody's been talking about it. Yeah. Everybody's been saying that. Please stop. This year's gonna go. <laughs> nah. But, I mean, yeah. I, is that really it? I mean, is that yeah. something that's really kickstarting this 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 tremendous you know, aura of just excitement sure. and positivity right now? Because you end the season on a walk off against a team that others have struggled with, and you guys come in and you have that huge yeah. upset. So we're talking about how 2024 could be a reflection of that. Yeah. Well, I, I definitely think it helps. Um, you know and I know there's a lot of guys in this league that are really strong, really big, really fast, uh, really athletic, really good at their craft. And, and really the, the biggest difference is between the ears. Um, and we knew we were a good football team, but we just didn't truly believe that we were a good football team. And so now you're seeing after that win, guys finally looking around and, and instead of 70% believing, now you got 99.9 .9 and, and the that – Point one percent is the filmer that's like, hey, what's going to happen? Um, but there's just there's a there's a belief amongst everyone. Uh, it's a majority now, and so uh, that that too will will pay pay it forward in the in the season.
Coach, can you talk to us a little bit about your quarterback, Luke Sampson? What have you seen from him taking that next step over the offseason? Yeah, it's been huge. The biggest thing, again, is, is his leadership. You know, he, he's been able to direct traffic. He's been able to um, make sure yeah. that the receivers and the tailbacks and the protection and everything is in sync. And that's huge yeah. when you have that on the field. But, you know, we can give we can give a ton of play calls, but he's the one that sees the safety rotations. He's the one that knows, oh, hey, this is not favorable to this play. We need to change it. And so just having that guy that's comfortable makes you comfortable. Being in this conference, how much does being a member of the MIAA demand the best out of you guys week in and week out? Yeah, I, I always tell guys it's the best. It's, it's the best and worst curse. You know, it's <laughs> you're going to see the best in the country. Um, but the good thing about that is you never have time to dwell over a loss. Uh, you never have time to, to have a hangover from a win. You you got to move forward. You always got to be looking forward. And, and like you said, you have to be on your best, or, or you're going to come out with an L. Sweet. Thanks, coach. Appreciate it. Appreciate it.